explain to me what this is, this study that's in the works in Octavia County. Yeah, so um, this study is called the Rural Study. So rural stands for uh, risk underlying rural areas longitudinal study. And it's a study just to understand why folks in rural areas are dying from heart attacks and strokes out of proportion to those living in urban areas. And that's a recent trend, hadn't been going on for most of the time of the United States, been in existence, but uh, all, since the 1980s, it's been a switch over from uh, those in the rural area uh, living longer to dying sooner from heart attacks and strokes. And it's been on a progressive increase and it's uh, reached national uh, concern to the point that uh, National Institutes of Health supports this study, uh, which is going to uh, encompass 4,600 folks out of the Southeastern United States. Okay, a couple of things I wanna clarify. Is this study being done by you, by UMC, by NIH? Mm -hmm. No, it's, uh, so this study is definitely funded by the National Institutes of Health, uh, National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute. Uh, and it's uh, being done across uh, four states, um, Alabama, Mississippi, uh, Louisiana, and Kentucky. And Mississippi is the second state. They've already uh, recruited about 1,000 out of uh, Alabama. And so they plan to recruit even a greater number, 1,300 out of Mississippi uh, to reach a final number of 4,600. So UMC is one of 16 institutions that is part of this study. Uh, the coordinating center is at the University of Texas, San Antonio. Gotcha. And, and why Octibaha County? How did they get chosen versus right. some other counties? Exactly. So they went through a very... Uh, 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 particular way of sorting out uh, counties to be selected based on um, the per capita income, the degree of poverty, uh, race uh, makeup, and uh, on uh, mortality rates uh, relative to the national average. And it looks like the two counties selected in Mississippi, Octavia and Panola, are matched really well so that they can compare and contrast uh, the uh, outcomes in those two counties and get an optimal amount of information about uh, things that are causing uh, rates to be higher. So okay. that's the uh, methodology they used. Okay, so at, as we talk this week, what is it that you need from folks in Octibaha County and, and for folks who get involved in this, what does this entail? Uh, so we want uh, folks from Octibaha County to be aware of a great opportunity to learn about their own health, get information about their own health, and to also contribute to the um, health uh, for their community as well as nationwide. Uh, based on the findings of these studies that can be applied and then eventually implemented. So want to know about the study, to join the study, uh, if they so uh, feel that they're between 25 and 64, they and they lived in the, in the county over six months and they don't plan to leave uh, in the next six months, then they're invited to be in the study. Uh, a mobile exam unit is coming uh, to uh, sit at 400 Hospital Road by OCH Regional uh, Medical Center. And uh, they're inviting folks to come in and take the exam. So the way you, uh, if you're interested to become a participant, is that you uh, can call a uh, number uh, that will be on a card that you receive. Uh, there is also a uh, form you can fill out and just mail it back from that card that you might receive from the study because they're sending it out to uh, like 2,500 folks randomly across the county, and they're going to do it repeatedly until they get 700 total out of Octavia County. Um, and then, of course, you can go to the rural website, www.therulestudy.org, uh, www.therulestudy.org, and there is a highlighted area 
if you're interested, you can click on and actually um, sign up for being part of the study that way. Okay, so, call just, you back. so just to clarify, I'm assuming there will be invites going out in the mail randomly. There are already people, started. Okay. There are people who can go online to the website you just mentioned and say, hey, I want to volunteer. Correct. Um, or participate. Uh, when, by the way, the the mobile, and I tell me, I'm, my brain is not remembering what, what mobile you, exam the, unit. Mobile exam unit. Can they go yes, there and ask to or sign up? Yeah, and they, they you know, or they can, uh, they'll get a card. Uh, but yeah, we're going to actually have a, um, a mobile exam unit open house on December nineteenth. Uh, soon after it gets there. Gotcha. And uh, we're going to invite the mayor and supervisors and all uh, to tour it. But if you are just sort of interested to know about it, you can tour it. They'll be open from 11 to 2 p.m. And uh, we will have folks there to help assist you get on the website and sign up uh, now, on that website. It, it, basically, does the study start when you get that 700 or, I mean, and is there a and B? Is there a are you under the gun to try to get that seven hundred by a certain time? <laughs> well, we would like to get it within six to nine months. That's the plan for it. If we get it sooner, we're not going to complain. We've already gotten about a hundred plus uh, folks scheduled to be on the mobile exam unit. So I think they filled up maybe some December slots and starting to get into the January slots. Already, uh, so it's going really, really well. So uh, we want folks to know about it. It's free in terms of not being charged to your insurance, because uh, I think a lot of folks ask about that. Uh, and uh, you actually uh, do get a compensation uh, for participating in the study as well. So, so, yeah. so let me make sure I understand this. So, if I let's just say I get selected for the study. Yes, sir. What will be required of me? What do I like have to go to the mobile exam unit like ever so often or what? No, just one time. Uh, they'll schedule you on a particular day uh, to come to the mobile exam unit. You go to the exam unit and you get a comprehensive exam. You get an EKG, ankle brachial index. You get a CT scan to look at your uh, calcium in your heart. Uh, we'll also look at your lungs and um be able to tell you about lung health. Uh, they'll do a spirometry test to look at lung function. Um, they will ask you a battery of questions to find about your medical history and how stress could be playing a role with uh, your health. Uh, and then they will give you a Fitbit that you can keep long-term. And also they'll give you a mobile phone, uh, which you'll turn back in in six months. And that's to understand how physical activity how uh, diet and how sleep uh, factors into your health profile. And they'll also be looking at uh, water quality. Uh, they'll be you know, looking at several other things uh, in addition to those things. So those are major uh, tests. I think they'll be running, of course, blood and urine. So, um, so, so the so make sure I understand, the mobile phone is for what? I mean, is it for researchers so, to call them or what? Yeah, so the, the mobile phone will help them get information about, uh, you know, physical activity. Uh, it also will help with nutrition. They will be pushing periodically some questions uh, uh, to you, which, you know, you sort of answer uh, periodically uh, with that. Um, and then they'll be asking about sleep and trying to understand how sleep plays a role as well. So it's 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 the one time physical at the at the mobile unit, and then over six months or so, it's answering various questions or whatever. Yeah, just staying in touch uh, and asking answering some questions through that, and then the Fitbit as well, helping to get us to understand how physical activity and all and, and, playing a role. And just to clarify the the it sounds like the compensation is the Fitbit. Or is there, because I'm oh, sure. Oh, no, no. Uh, you know, they uh, think they're uh, giving $75 to be able to participate uh, in the study and another 75 uh, after uh, 
working with the phone and the Fitbit for that six months. Okay. So a total of 150. Okay. Grand scheme of things, once all this data and once this study is completed, what's the, from a researcher standpoint, what's the hope that once they have this data, what will this be the, what benefit or or what do they hope to get out of this? You yeah, kind so, of answered this, I think, but I just right. want to sum it up. No, I think it's important. So comparing and contrasting the data, they get targets of areas that seem to be uh, the best uh, points of identifying, you know, why some counties are doing better than others, even though they have the same type of makeup. And these would be targets for uh, potential interventions in rural areas to improve health uh, conditions and health profiles. So potentially these will give us the targets we need to focus on either through policy, through interventions in the community, uh, local or federal policies to help conditions uh, improve and uh, hopefully get rid of that health disparity that seems to be going across the rural areas um, relative to these urban areas and lower the rates of heart attack and stroke in rural areas. Okay. Dr. Fox, before we wrap up, anything else you'd like to add? No, I think it's a great opportunity and just let people know in Octavia County, you know, I, uh, my folks grew up in Octavia County. So, uh, and definitely uh, it's, it's a special part of, of this whole uh, study is to be able to give back to the community that I know. And uh, so I look forward to uh, seeing it come to Octavia County, seeing the local benefits as well as national benefits from this study.